Horizon Forbidden West has seemingly been delayed, although PlayStation or Gorilla haven't come out yet, but the media is basically confirming it. This is an article from Forbes by Paul Tassi, who's hit and miss. But he writes, Yesterday, reports began circulating that PS5's Horizon Forbidden West is about to be officially delayed from holiday 2021 to sometime in 2022. The news was put forth by Jeff Grubb, then effectively confirmed by Bloomberg's Jason Schreier, though Sony or Guerrilla Games has yet to officially comment. Horizon Forbidden West always seemed a bit shaky to make it out of this year. There's of course the past year of the pandemic to consider, in terms of slowing development, and when the game was spoken of, the sense was that they were trying to get it out this holiday, but it didn't feel like a sure thing. If the delay is confirmed, it may create the narrative that Sony is losing its biggest exclusive of both the holiday season and the year in general. And yet the practical implications of this on the fate of the PS5 are pretty much nothing. I'd have to agree with that. PS5s have been selling regardless. I plan on getting one soon, so it doesn't really affect the sales necessarily. And they haven't had many exclusives to this point. Xbox hasn't had any, really, any big ones, and they've been selling their their consoles as well, so it seems like it doesn't really matter right now. But he continues, the PlayStation 5 is the fastest selling video game console in history, rocketing to 10 million sales since its launch last year, and continues to sell almost instantly when the new stock finds its way to storefronts. There's nothing to indicate this will slow down anytime soon, and the current shortages are expected to last well into next year. In short, whether Horizon for Men and West came out this fall or not, the PS5 was always going to be extremely hard to find over this holiday, and will likely keep selling out as this pace regardless. Microsoft too is selling out of Xbox Series X and S as frequently, and if there's any story here, it's that at the very least, they can potentially pull the spotlight away from Sony this holiday, as they're supposed to have two big releases in this window. Forza Horizon 5 on November 5th and Halo Infinite at an as of yet unspecified date, but they maintain it will in fact be 2021. He says, I can already see people saying, but you gave Microsoft a hard time when they delayed Halo Infinite out of 2020. I would argue that was a bigger deal at the time because A, Microsoft had just shown off footage of the game that looked quite bad, and it very clearly needed more time, and B, Microsoft had heavily tied the launch of the Series X and S to Halo Infinite, and they lost their flagship title while Sony launched with a lot more must-haves. I don't know if it would say a lot more, but more, yeah, sure. I argue the bigger deal is that they're releasing on the PS4 and the PS5, not that they're delaying it. That makes the fact that they're releasing on PS4 or PS5 a bigger deal, because they're just pushing it back another year. And they had previously said that they believe in generations, meaning that this wouldn't happen. Now it is. It's an odd situation they put themselves themselves in. It says this time around, Horizon Forbidden West has already shown off gameplay, which looked perfectly great, and wasn't a cause for concern. Well, the the face on Aloy was a bit of a concern, but that's a different different video. And Sony is already in a strong position in terms of console sales this year, and has already released some hits earlier on, Returnal and Ratchet and Clank namely. I think it'll be a good moment for Xbox to grab the microphone, don't get me wrong, but no, this will not change the dynamics of the console sales range, race. With, shortage, with shortages ensuring the PS5 will continue selling out all season long, as for players, no one really has any issues with game delays in this day and age. And everyone is more than okay waiting for games to be finished in order to launch without issue. And that's something Sony in particular cares about a lot, given how much of its reputation rides on launching extremely high quality first party titles. Miss the holiday window if you have to in order to keep that tradition going. I would agree it's best to wait so you don't have a cyberpunk situation. But the annoying thing about it is they keep setting new release dates. If you're gonna if 
you know you're not going to make the release date or you aren't confident, don't set it. That's my issue. I want this game to be the best I, it can be. I love the first one, so I don't mind waiting at all, but it's just... But I want just want them to stop setting release dates if they're not if they know or they're not very confident that they're gonna hit them so that's my big issue with this and like i said before hopefully they fix the face model but let me know what you guys think are you excited for horizon forbidden west did you like the first game did you dislike the first game did you play it are you, are you gonna play this even though you didn't play the first game do you have a ps5 let me know, like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, comment, share. I have another channel called the Thoughtful Outlaw Sports where I talk about baseball, basketball, football, and anything else sports related that I'm interested in. So check that out if you're interested, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.